Hi guys, it's RGS and today I'm gonna show you how to install custom lollipop roms on AT&T Samsung Galaxy S4 or maybe other variants also. So let's get started. So guys, I'm now running on Google Play Edition ROM for Samsung Galaxy S4 i SGH i337 AT&T variant and I'm on NJ4. I don't know what is that actually means but because it's important, I'm on NJ4. So you need to have SafeStrap installed in your phone. Now uh, you need five files, one is Odin, the second one is the ROM which is I am using GoldenEye. And the third one is OC3 stock colon. The fourth one is OC3 modules. And the fifth one is OC3 stock partitions. And you can find every file I've set right now in the description. You can just download them right away. Now you need to boot into safe strap recovery for doing this whole thing. And for going to safe strap, you know the process how to go to safe strap, right? Uh, okay. So after going to save strap, the first thing you need to do is you need to check the files which you have downloaded. We need OGE, the ROM and also the OC3 modules in the phone. Those are the only two files which you need in the phone. So after that you need to select ROM slot stock. Now you have ROMs like ROM slot 1 and 2. You need to be on stock ROM. Going back, wipe, advanced wipe and check everything except micro SD card and just slide it down there uh, and it's gonna format your phone and if you want all your files you can just do backup of your phone right okay going back back install we're gonna install the ROM right now flash okay it's gonna take some time like let us just skip the whole process after the installation starts but now press next uh, I accept and custom custom installation you need to select AT&T safe strap users next uh, you can select whatever you want in this menus but the last menu you need to select AT&T stock color etc some option uh, we'll see that okay uh, start Chrome Oh, okay, the last option AT&T safe strap. Okay, now it's gonna install the ROM. I'm gonna skip this because it needs to be skipped because it's gonna take so much of time and so much of time. So guys from this step you need to be really careful really really careful these are the important steps which you need to follow definitely so pressing next uh, uncheck reboot this device now and press next again this will take you back to the safe step recovery go to home install and now you should install the OC3 stock modules which you have just downloaded just means I don't know when now you need to go back to home important go back to homes and reboot go to download mode now after going to download mode now we're gonna to shift to the PC setup now let's go to the PC setup okay guys uh, come into the PC stuff and etc now I'm in download mode and you need to uh, get Odin 3 0.39 I'm using Odin 0.39 but it's your wish whatever you use and you need to have all the down files you downloaded at one place that's the best option to be clean and after this you need to select AP but this is important to follow every step I say or else your phone would be bricked or something else but this is safe you can also recover your bricked phone somehow so after this you need to select AP OC3 stock curlin is the first one you need to flash OC3 stock curlin curlin not the partitions curlin that's the first one you need to flash open and flash it and get ready to do some naughty stuff because after the flash completes you need to do it okay okay ready get ready for it no the flash is completed you need to remove your battery because the boot shouldn't happen the boot shouldn't happen 
removing it removing it and i'm done okay you need to remove this because you only flash the stock curl then and you also need to flash the shock partitions if you didn't uh, flash the stock partition just boot right away your phone would uh it would not turn on properly so uh, after doing the whole removing extraterrestrial stuff you need to go back to the download mode okay download 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 okay download mode okay keep it aside and you need to select stock partitions now stock partitions now oh, where is Odin? Odin okay I've opened it where is it oh it's right there right there Okay, AP stock partitions and flash. Now you don't need to do some stuff like removing your battery again and blah blah blah. It's gonna flash, and you're done with your PC. You can just leave your PC, and you are also done with the ROM flashing stuff on your phone. So now there are some few important steps you need to know for that. Uh, you need to listen properly after the boot and everything is done so okay we're so after doing the whole stuff it's gonna reboot now and this is gonna ask you for save strap four times four times and the four times you need to press continue and the first time it's not gonna boot uh, because some stuff happens in that and you need to switch off your S4 and then again turn it on then you need to give it 10 minutes or some time don't think that is your phone is done it would definitely work out you need to give it 10 minutes or some time and you would be shown with lollipop so that's it guys thanks for watching I just like and subscribe if you guys have any doubts please comment